Rose, and today I have an unboxing from Your Best Deals. And we have three cheap and cheerful items, plus a big mural. And so that's going to be fun. And as of when I'm recording this intro, I don't have any ugly diamond paintings, and I don't have any... Um, project of the month updates to show you since yesterday's video. Uh, so I'll just put in my own little update on my project of the month at the end of this video or during a drill review or something. Okay, let's get into cheap and cheerful and big. <laughs> Okie doke. Well, here are the four prod... No. Okie doke. Well, here are the four items I'm going to open today. And so I said that there were three that were cheap and cheerful. These are all under $5. This one is $18 Canadian, so probably about $14.99, $15 American. And we're going to get into that in a short while. But let's start with number 643, which... Um, I found really, really interesting. This one here is $5.14 Canadian, which is like, I don't know, $3.99, $4.25, something like that, US. And I found it was really, really interesting because it's super simple. But I thought it was dramatic. And I thought this could look really, really cool up on a wall or something like that. So, I am going to try this at some point uh, because I think, I think it looks really great. And it's done in the new style. So, you're getting a fantastic rendering of the original image, which is up on your screen. And cheap, cheap, cheap price. Now this only has 18 colors, which is not surprising because there's not a lot of detail to the original. Um, but, uh, but nonetheless, because of the new style printing, this is going to look just fantastic when it's done. All right, let's measure it and then we'll take a look in more detail. So we have 25 across. And 34 and a half high. So we'll call it 25 by 35. Now I know I flashed it up on the screen, but I also know that not all of you watch the screen. So um, I call this one, which is number 643, um, I call it Woman with Roses. I think they call it Japanese Woman on the website. Um, but I, I just liked Woman with Roses because she's carrying this armload of roses. I just, oh, I think it's beautiful. <gasps> okay, so, and this is number 643 because I have been trying to order this one for quite a while. And it was out of stock um, where I tried ordering it from first. So I tried your best deals and they had it. So that's good. Um, and they had it super cheap, so. Uh, so something else I'm noticing is for your low, low price of less than $5 US, you also get all your drills pre-bagged for you. So there's no kidding up. And you get a standard kit, which is great. Okay, let's take a look at the legend, which is printed at both corners of the canvas. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you're seeing it in 1x now, and looks to me so far like these will be pretty clear symbols, I think. Let's check them out on the canvas. I like the fact that there are DMC numbers. Oh yeah, this is very, very clear, very easy to read. And I think there's no 310. There's no 310, which is great. There is an awful lot 
of that, uh, what color is that? 792, that deep purple. Yeah. So this is a color blocking heaven. And I just received my Everlasting Tips 12 placer in the mail uh, two days ago, I think. So I'll be opening that later this week or on the weekend. And well, we're running out of days this week. So yeah, probably on the weekend, maybe on Friday. I don't know. And um, so that will be perfect for working on a project like this. And it will make very, very quick work of a project like this. Now you don't have to use an expensive stainless steel tip uh, for your multi-placer. You can use the plastic ones, but um, I diamond paint a lot and I have found that investing in good tools of the trade is uh, super helpful in avoiding you know, the little frustrations that some diamond painting experiences would give you. So doesn't she look beautiful? Now maybe I wish there was a little bit more definition to the roses that she's carrying because that doesn't really come through. It looks like the decolletage of her dress as opposed to um, the arm full of flowers. But even so, I think it's beautiful. And then uh, like her hands here that are holding the bouquet look like they might be flourishes on uh, some gloves or something like that. But I'm gonna flash up the picture one more time so that you can see it in side by side. Yeah, um, I mean, I can't see it, but uh, because I don't have the side by side up. But um, I, I still think this is gonna be really cool because the thing to focus on is her, right? And it's all about her. And oh man, she's gorgeous. Okay, she's very simple, but she's gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna take a look now at the drills. And um, I will pop in while we're looking at these. Uh, my update on the project of the month for March. Uh, I, I did a, an hour and a half of it on um, Monday and then I didn't do any on Tuesday and then yesterday, Wednesday, I worked on it for a few hours and so this is how far along I am. And uh, I expect I'll be able to work on it for quite a while today depending on how long it takes me to edit this because I got nothing else going on today. All right, so, oh, let's zoom way in. So the drills, I'm hoping, will look very good. And so far, no disappointment. Pretty, pretty colors. I just love this fuchsia. <gasps> So beautiful. And the golds. Oh, I just. Everything about this diamond painting called to me. I. It was a rose tries for Crystal Diamanda. Um, but it's one that I probably would have ordered for myself because it speaks to me. So, Crystal, I was so excited about opening it that I forgot to even mention at the beginning that it was a rose tries that you had requested. Um, so I'm going to be very interested in knowing your thoughts on this and whether you will be ordering it. So I've got a few little loose drills here uh, that were probably caught on the outside of the zipper packages when they were sealed up. One of them's not even a color that's in this diamond painting. So it was just attached with static or something like that at the factory um, or the, well, the warehouse, I'll call it. I don't know if it was at the factory, uh, but, 
Oh my goodness. I love the mix of colors. They're so pretty. So pretty. And then here we have the 792, and that's what one of these here is. The other one is this green, um, which doesn't appear anywhere. So, all right, now I gotta close this up properly. There we go. And lots of 792. Lots of 792. Okay, um, so that's good. I'm gonna put these away and I'll be right back. So this is number 643, Woman with Roses. And I think she's gorgeous. I love it. $5.14 Canadian, like $3.99 for something American. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong. But Crystal, I would like to know your thoughts on it. So do please tell me. All right, next up, we have number 715. And this is another rose prize. And this is a rose prize for my patron Donna, who saw it and asked me to try it for her. Ooh, I'm already liking something I see here. So it's a special shape. A tea kettle, or not kettle, but a teapot and a couple of cups. It's um, 30 by 40 canvas area. We'll measure to see what size drill area it is. But it has 15 different kinds of drills. Cool. This one here is $6.11 Canadian. So I'm thinking it's like $5.25 or $5.50 US maybe um i'll keep the english the canadian prices on my um inventory sheets that i that i make for each diamond painting uh so i don't know the exact american price but you can find it easily enough by clicking on the link in the description below if you're really interested in knowing what this cost all right Okay, so this is a very, very stiff canvas and um, it'll probably flatten out nicely when it's in my storage waiting to be done, but uh, I will um, probably iron it because it is really stiff. This is one of the stiffer canvases. So there we go. All right, let's see what size it is. Uh, it's 24 image area by 34 image area. So this is number 715. I call it the kettle. Even though it's not a kettle, I know it's not a kettle. But for some reason, when I see a teacup and a teapot, I always think kettle. Always. <laughs> Um, so kettle it is uh, I'm not sure what it's called on the website okay so 15 different kinds of drills and look at that there's two square types of drills that's what had me all excited when I opened it up because as you see the edging on this is square drills down here, alternating square drills. And the other thing I really like about this is it's got the frame sort of built into it. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I always like it when we get diamond paintings like that. And other than that, the legend is really, really easy to read. The symbols are easy to read. This is gonna be a nice, fun project. And this is one that I could actually put up in my kitchen um, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. It's really not going to take very long. I mean, even though there are 15 different kinds of drills, which is quite a few different kinds of drills for a special shape diamond painting, it's, it, it's going to go really quickly. Okay, so it comes with an absolutely standard kit. 
Let's take a look now at the drills. All right, we're going to start from the end because uh, I want to show you the square drills last. So we need uh, 15 colors, and there's we've, there we've got 15 different kinds of drills. And looking at these ones, I can already tell that these drills are the better quality um, crystal drills. Uh, they're less likely to be scratched on the bottom. Um, doesn't mean there won't be any that are scratched, but these tend to be less scratched than, um, than others that I now recognize immediately on site. So that's pretty deep, deep black, and then these blues, and oh, what a gorgeous color. Okay, so here we've got one that's got a little bit of a scratch to it, but that's one. The rest of them look good. Yeah. Yeah. I usually don't worry too, too, like here's one, you see that one just above my thumbnail? Um, it's got little flecks, it looks like, where the, the silvering is missing. I would get rid of that because that drill will not look right from the top. And there's another one that the silvering is partially gone, so we'd have to get rid of that. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm seeing a few of them. But generally speaking, these drills look really good. And here's a tip for you. When you're doing a crystal diamond painting, if you get drills that have, like, you see how these, the silvering on the bottom of these, it looks kind of mirror-like. It's very um, shiny. Uh, if you get some that have matte finishes, those drills don't look good. Um, I, I don't throw them away instantly when I get drills like that, uh, because usually if you get one drill like that, you're going to get a whole bunch of drills like that in a bag. And so what I do is I just sort of push them aside and I only use them if I absolutely have to, because those drills will not look sparkly. They look almost a little cloudy um, when the silvering is not uh, shiny. Like sometimes it's like they're powder coated on the bottom and yeah, that's not good. Oh! I don't think I've ever received these before. These are beautiful, Donna. Oh my goodness. I love that. And then we've got these gorgeous uh, round faceted purple bills. And now look, look, we've got these beautiful square bright blue crystal drills and they look to be of excellent quality and then we have these yellow faceted crystal drills also square and they also are excellent quality oh this is gonna be such well it's gonna be a, a blast to work on it's not gonna take very long at all and it's going to look really cute when it's done. This is something I would consider hanging above my, uh, my tea and coffee area uh, in the kitchen. Absolutely, I would look to put this up. Yeah, and I have some um, hanging ideas that I want to try out on the channel. So, uh, some framing ideas, I mean. So, uh, so yeah, okay, I'm going to put the drills away and... I'll be right back. All right, so you know, I wish I had called this one Tea for Two because that's what it should be called. It's Tea for Two. I think it's super cute. Yeah, I really like it, Donna. Um, hope you do too. Let me know what you think of it.
All right. Uh, next up, I have my canvases precariously perched on top of my couch cushions. The worst that would happen is that they would fall on the floor, but I'd rather that they didn't. Okay. Um, so next up, okay, just a sec. I just realized I forgot to tell you something about this. So this diamond painting is listed on the Your Best Deal site as 30 by 30, which might be why Donna asked me to try it for her. Because if they had squashed this to a 30 by 30, it would be wrong. But no, they just got the dimensions wrong. It is a 30 by 40 canvas. All right, now I can show you. Um, so I have been interested in this image ever since I first saw it. And I think I first saw it as a latch hook prog, uh, a latch hook project. And uh, I didn't order it right away. And now that latch hook, I can't find it. Um, that latch hook rug project, uh, I can't find it because I'm starting, uh, I've ordered a few latch hook projects and I'll be showing them on the channel. Um, because I, I wanna try them. Um, so I call this one the underwater rose, and this is a partial, and I, you guys know I don't usually do partials, but, uh, I was really interested in doing this one because I think it's a beautiful picture. And so what the heck, I figured I would get it and try it out. And this one here, it's 383 Canadian. So it's probably like $2.99 or something like that. Something like that. $2.99 American. Maybe $3.25 American. Something like that. Um, but it's super cheap. And um, it's very pretty. And it's done in the new style. For a part. Of, oh, wait a minute. Is it? No, it's not. No, it's not done in the new style. It's funny, it's sort of done in a hybrid of the new style. And I'll show you why. Um, okay, so you see how around the edges of the leaves here we have circles. And then we've got like sort of the, the picture behind it. But on the inside, all of the inside uh, drill area bits are pixels. So this is a hybrid of new style and old style. And so you get that nice definition to the swirly bits and the curvy bits and the leaves and stuff like that. But the inside of the diamond painting, it won't have that sharp, sharp detail of um, all of the original image behind the pixels. Nonetheless, from a distance, it still looks quite good. So, got to recalcitrant corner here let's see if we can bend that back this is not a super stiff canvas um it's a nice degree of uh stiffness if you will or it's not really it doesn't really feel starched like the other one that i just opened did yeah i like this okay uh let's take a look at the legend so it has 14 colors which is quite a bit for a partial and very, very simple symbol set. And then when we get into it, this is gonna be super quick and easy to do. It's gonna be very pretty. This is the sort of thing that, you know, I would do for just a quick, um, just a quick little project in between uh, doing, let's say, um, areas on a large project like the project of the month that I'm working on like each time I finish a strip I'm going to do a different diamond painting um, so this would be good for that and this is the sort of thing that it's so small and it really doesn't take like it's not like it's going to take up two weeks of your time this will take up you know maybe a day of your time and depending on how fast and how much time you put into it you know this could be maybe four hours or something like that which, in my estimation, makes it a nice gift to give to somebody who you haven't seen for a while, who you want to get together for coffee with, 
when COVID is over, coffee or lunch or whatever, you can take this and give it to them. And, you know, if you get like an, a cheap little frame somewhere, you can frame it or you can mount it on a stretched canvas. And I'll be doing at least one video of doing that. I know I've been talking about that forever, but I actually have my framing materials now in the hallway because I plan on doing some framing. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of things you could do with this and it would be really cute, I think. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the kit. Very standard. Oh, and look, the drills come pre-bagged. And they have DMC numbers on them. Yay! All right, that I wasn't expecting. Now, the DMC numbers are written in teensy tiny little type. Oh, I haven't measured this yet, so I'm going to measure it. Let's see, if you wanted to frame this or mount it, you would want something that is 24 centimeters by 19 centimeters. So that would be an eight by 10, either frame or stretched canvas that you would want to mount this on. Um, yeah. A nice size. You can buy some really super cheap frames or if you go to the dollar store or you can get maybe some, you might be able to find some nicer frames. If you go to um, a thrift store, like a, you know, like a used store, because, um, you know, people get rid of their old frames and things like that. And sometimes there's some really nice stuff. So let's take a look. So you see there's, there's the DMC number right there. And, I mean, there's not a lot of any of these drills because it's a partial. But super pretty colors. This would look spectacular uh, as a hook drug, I think. Um, it would also look spectacular in a full drill diamond painting. And... Um, I think it's going to look very, very nice as a partial diamond painting, like this one. So there we go. Very nice. The drills look good. I am actually finding that when I get drills from stores like Your Best Deals, um, they tend to be good quality. Um, when I was buying from AliExpress, the quality was mixed. But now I find, generally speaking, uh, you get really good quality. Now, sometimes I find a bit of a variation in quality with square drills. Um, and not because the drills are bad quality, but because they're sometimes they're a little too small. And we all know how that feels doesn't feel good, but I've learned to work with it. I have a tip for you. If you're working on large diamond paintings, um, or diamond paintings that have large areas of color blocking, and they're square drills, and the drills are slightly too small, um, don't use a big multiplacer. Uh, you can use a multiplacer if you want to, but you'll actually get better results if you use nothing bigger than a six placer. I realized this um, in a recent project that I was working on, and then I realized it again last night when I was working on Bear in the Meadow because I don't know what your experience has been with Bear in the Meadow. But my experience with the square drills is that many of them are just that little bit too small to, um, to place them with a large multiplacer because then you end up with like the last drill in a nine placer being one quarter into the square for the uh, ninth drill because 
you know, it come anyway. Uh, so I went to using my six placer and that's been going just fine. And I don't have to be pushing drills around. So, um, so yeah, I can demonstrate that in a video if you guys want to see what I'm talking about. Uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll make a quick video showing you what I mean. Okay, but in the meantime, here is number 716, what I call the underwater rose. I forgot to put the label on it. Uh, super beautiful image. I think it'll make a really, really nice little project. And less than four dollars us in fact i think it's less than 350 maybe it's 350 i don't know 383 canadian i mean holy smokes can't even buy a starbucks coffee for that okay uh let's move on oh i'm gonna have to change my setup here because this next one is a big so um i'll be back once I get things organized a little bit. Okay, my friends. So here is number 17, uh, 717, rather, 717. It is not a cheap and cheerful, but it is pretty cheap nonetheless. It's 23 something Canadian. And it is called, well, I call it Egyptian Life. This uh, I had already ordered. And then I got two uh, rose tries requests for it. Or maybe I got one rose tries request. And then I ordered it. And then I got another rose tries request. Uh, but this um was requested by sky of diamonds karen and sarah so um so there you go I'll, I'll flatten it out in a minute uh here's the kit so it's got enough for two people to diamond paint together there's two trays uh two great big pieces of wax and two drill pens all right um, now this is not a stiff canvas, so this is going to flatten out beautifully. Uh, it's just got the mailing curl to it. So, but it's, it feels like a, it feels kind of like a stiff canvas, like cloth canvas, but not, um, but not super, super starched. So I'm just rolling it back on itself so that hopefully... The ends will not curl up because I want you to be able to see this. Um, so it is 100 by 50. Now that is the canvas size. And it is uh, not done in the new style, um, which actually should be okay because it's big enough. I am liking it. And I think it's going to look pretty amazing when the drills are on it. It has 30 colors, which is great. And here are the bags of, the bags of drills. This is going to be really really nice very earthy tones normally like with this exception here of this bright yellow but everything else is pretty earthy i like it there's a lot to take in here so i'm just i'm just taking a minute to try and take it in and so it's I'd say it's a mix between confetti heaven and a little bit of color blocking. There's not a lot of color blocking. There are small areas of color blocking, like here, here, here. 
Uh, but the background, it's all confetti. Most of it is confetti. Yeah, most of it is confetti. Very, very nice. Let's uh, just try and fill the, um, the camera with it. I think this looks really nice. I think it's going to look great. Wow. Okay, so this is one that I'm going to do in parts. And I think what I'll do is I'll do part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six. Uh, so part six will be like the biggest part of it. Um, because that way I can do pretty much each strip uh, as an as a as a weekend project kind of thing or as a a snack. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And so it it'll take a while to finish the thing all together because I gotta wait for those pennies to come up. But um, but it'll get done eventually and it'll be fun to do. So yeah. Okay, all right, so that's what I'm gonna do. And now we're gonna take a look at the legend and the drill area. What am I sitting on? Oh, I'm sitting on the drills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in terms of the legend. Sorry, those are my bracelets clanking on the table. Um, all righty, so symbols seem to be quite simple. And based on the legend, they look like they'll be easy to read. Yep. Okay. So let's let's take a look. And we're in one X here. And I'm trying to hold you steady, but I'm stretching out um, across the diamond painting. So I may not hold you as steady as I would like. Uh, this looks to be super clear. Uh, this is one that I wouldn't need a light pad for yeah even those eights are is that eight or g it's a hold on let me make sure there's a g and there's an s am i gonna mix up the s's and the g's there's the s Right there. Oh, and there's the G's. No, wait a minute, where's my finger? There it is, okay. Um, yeah, no, you're not gonna mix up the S's and the G's. They're right there side by side there. No, that's good. That's gonna be nice and uh, easy. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a really nice canvas. The only thing that could make this better would be if it was done in the new style. But again, like as soon as you pull back, like I'm maybe two and a half, three feet from it. Uh, as soon as you pull back that far, you get really good definition. And the farther back you go, the better. So, wow. This is really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with this. And again, let's zoom out a little bit so that we can see the detail. And then we've got this one person that's just kind of off, off the edge of the screen there. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. We got a little bit of color blocking happening here but you see how this background it's mostly confetti there are little runs of color blocking but it's mostly confetti pretty much this whole thing 
use confetti. So it will take a while. This is this is not one that's going to be done in a weekend. Um, maybe each strip. Like I'm thinking, you know, if I do this strip, that would definitely take me two days. So yeah, I probably have about I don't know twelve. 15, 16 days of work on this. Um, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look at the drills now. Alright, so I need 30 colors of drills, and this has got it all going on. I got the DMC numbers on the canvas itself, but I also have the DMC numbers on the bags here, so that's good. Um, I have two long strips, and the last one ends in 30, so that looks good to me. Okay, let's start. And I don't have anything to show you through this, so we're just going to go fairly quickly looking at these drills so that you can see uh, whether you're happy with the quality of them. I expect to be perfectly happy with the quality of them. These bags are so full. There is a lot of work to be done on this diamond painting. And it's a super good price for something this detailed, this big. $23.16 Canadian. So you know, maybe $19.99 American, something like that, um, which I think is a good price for something this large. Your Best Deals does have fantastic prices on their diamond paintings. And as you see, good quality. It's really important to um, shop around when you're looking for uh, diamond paintings because a lot of the stores sell the same products. So you have to look at the con con um, so you have to look at the um, combination of price and discounts that might be available. Some stores offer discounts. Um, if you buy, you know, four, you get the fifth one free, or buy three, get the fourth one free, that sort of thing. That can make a huge amount of difference in your shopping. And then there are stores like Your Best Deals where you don't have to worry about coupons, you don't have to worry about discount codes, you don't have to worry about you know, buying four to get a fifth one free, the, the fifth one is going to be the lowest price because Your Best Deals already has their prices um, pretty much rock bottom. Um, they are extremely competitive. So, um, so for those of you who are wondering, do I have a discount code for Your Best Deals? No, I don't. And the reason is because their prices are so low you're getting a discount by shopping there uh, and you're getting the exact same product that you would get in some of the other stores so um so yeah shop around okay uh so those drills looked good i'm gonna put this all away and then we're gonna wrap up okay so this is number 717 what i call egyptian life uh round drills 94 by 45 drill area done in the pixel style but because the size is so big i think pixel style does justice to this um would it be better in the new style yes it would but this is gonna look great uh nonetheless um yeah i um i think it's gonna look fantastic okay and then what else do we have we have number 716, the Underwater Rose, partial, very pretty, very cheap. Uh, number 715, the um, T for Two, which I call Kettle, uh, special shapes with square diamonds that go around the edges. I love that. Uh, also cheap and cheerful, under $5, 
can't lose. And we have number 643, uh, Woman with Roses, which you can't really get the sense of the roses from this, but that's okay, I think, uh, for you know what I paid for it, which was, I think it was less than $5 Canadian, was it? It was $5.14 Canadian. Uh, so I'm perfectly happy with this. Um, I would say this is a fantastic set of four diamond paintings. I would be very, very interested. Crystal Diamanda, in what you think of the woman with roses. And uh, Donna, in what you think of the tea set. And for Sky of Diamonds and Sarah, I would love to know what you think of Egyptian life and whether these are ones that you're interested in getting. And with that, my friends, I would like to thank Bella from Your Best Deals who uh, sent me all of these gorgeous diamond paintings. And I would like to thank all of my patrons and my subscribers and viewers. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget to click the like button on this video. And do please leave me a comment down below. All right, everybody, take care. I love you. I will be back with you again very soon for another diamond painting video. Bye-bye for now.